It's not enough to know which notes to play. You got to know why they need to be played. The eighth note rock beat is one of the most important and popular drum beats in the world. It's probably the most recorded and played drum beat ever. So let me show you the beat and then we'll break it down. Alright, so I'll start by explaining the time signature and the count for this beat. So this is a 4-4 beat, meaning there's four quarter notes in every bar. And those four quarter notes are subdivided into eighth notes. So we've got our four quarter notes, and in between those quarter notes, we've got eighth notes. So the way we count it out is we count those four quarter notes, but we also place an and count in between to give us the eighth note count. So the count becomes one and two and three and four and. And those are our eighth notes. That's the eighth note subdivision of this beat. And that brings us straight into the hi hat part because the hi-hat simply plays all eight eighth notes. Now let's add in the bass drum part. So the bass drum plays on beats one and three. So we're gonna keep the hi-hat where it is, playing all eight eighth notes, and just add in the bass drum on beats one and three only. Okay, now for the snare drum part. So we'll take away the bass drum part for a moment and add in the snare drum on beats two and four, which we call the back beats. All right, now for the full beat. So we'll add the bass drum back in on beats one and three, snare drum beats two and four, and hi-hat on all eight eighth notes and that'll give us the eighth note rock beat. All right, so that's how you play the eighth note rock beat. Now, when you're practicing, keep the tempo nice and slow at first and keep a metronome on if you've got one handy. And I want you to pay attention to a couple of things for me. The first is the timing of your strokes. So on beats two and four, for example, we've got hi-hat and snare landing at the same time. And we really want to just pay attention to the timing to make sure that they're exactly the same time, and not one just before the other, creating a flam effect. Okay, we should just have one clean note made up of those two sounds. And of course, same for beats one and three, hi-hat and bass drum should land at exactly the same time, creating one clean note out of those two sounds. The other thing to pay attention to is the dynamic balance between the different parts in this beat. And so that's how loud or soft the different elements are in relation to each other. So I just want to make sure the kick drum, snare drum and the hi-hat pretty much come out at the same volume and one doesn't dominate the others too much. Particularly the hi-hat. We want to make sure the hi-hat is nice and clean. Keep your left foot pressed firmly into the hi-hat pedal for a nice clean, tight hi-hat sound. And make sure the hi-hat doesn't dominate over the kick drum and snare drum because they really generate the up-down feeling of this beat. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on the eighth note rock beat. You can get the PDF worksheet on my website, sashakdrums.com, and plenty more drum lessons and variations to this beat as well. So check them out when you get a chance, and thanks for watching. And another thing, I don't think, I don't think white people should be trying to dance like blacks. Stop that!